Now, I am massively hyped for this one. Marquez into the Heroic Chronicles Evolution goes from a 90 rated CDM, decent looking centre back, to an absolute machine. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Now, I have already reviewed the actual 90 rated card on the channel. A lot of you guys would have seen that video already. I asked you if you wanted me to evolve and review him, and. Safe so to say, a lot of you did. I think like 30 people thumbs up the comment, which is crazy. So I'm here. I'm delivering the goods. But is he going to be worth doing? Is he the best option? In my mind, Peter Crouch is number one right now. He is the alpha. He is him. Carried me to a fantastic weekend. He finished on the main account. And I'm getting him on the RTG as well, for sure. Collar, decent option. But Marquez looks like he could sneak his way in as potentially the go-to guy. He's six foot medium high. Three star, four star, compares a centre back. A lot of you want to see the centre back position change, so I'll do it in this video. He's going to be a, center, a CDM centre mid and a centre back in the gameplay. And it's a really nice boost. You get a plus three to the pace, nice fine tuning to the passing, and the physicals get juiced. 96 strength, 95 aggression. With that pace, anticipate. No bruiser, unfortunately, but like he's going to be an absolute bully in the middle of the field, and I'm ready for it. Okay, so let's stop the waffling. It's foot champs time. Smash the like if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new. And let's go. So he's starting as a CDM in the first game here. Foot champs, you can already tell he's a sweaty little rat as he's switching the play. Left, right and centre already. He's got a crazy looking team as well. So this could be a, a difficult one to say the least. While in Virgil, let's lock in. I'm not used to seeing him in the middle of the park about that little Evo thing. The active Evo floating above his head. Big boy Marquez then. It's made you to feel quicker. You know, a controlled sprint isn't bad for the boy. Like that left stick there felt a little bit slow and sluggish, but he's striding. Nice ball. Francescoli gets absolutely clobbered. Yes. Oh, I say yes. Positioned nicely, but I don't know what that touch was. Oh, Vinny Jr. The more I use him, the more I realize he's absolutely insane. Still a, thing, a little bit overpriced though for what you're getting, but still a crazy, crazy card. Big man. Marquez. RBNA passes. The driven passes are good. Definitely got a nice range to play it as almost like a playmaker in the CDM role. Little one. The reason why I think maybe CDM is the way to go is just his uh, ability to take the ball and destroy it and, and play passes. Like he's a really good playmaker in that CDM position. That's a goal. Come on. And Callister. Big Marquez. I'll tell you what, one thing's for sure. The Evo, I've noticed a big increase to the old um the old dribbling. He feels much quicker, especially with the controlled sprint. Like the left stick originally felt okay, a little bit on the clunkier side, but my boy is flowing a bit more. It could just be the pace boost as well. Genuinely make it feel a bit quick on the ball. Nice passing sequence from the team. Get Prince involved overlapping on the right. Not a lot of options in the middle though. Francesco on the edge. Just released the Kraken. I had to go for it. We got crazy long shots and shot power. I just need to be trying to score screamers with the man. That little finesse shot for distance. We green it and it travels. Check, scrambles across, makes the save though. You know what? This this man's a sweat. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. This is a ratty player. And I've just got to put my hands up and say fair play, mate. Oh, big, big interception. Nice left stick control as well. And a decent driven pass. Rafa, a little give and go maybe. Kachari's out of position, so float over the top. Rafa Marquez on the right wing. Unorthodox, but I don't mind it. Pretty controlled sprint on the inside here. Oh, you know what? It looked like it was traveling. One more. Oh, Rafa just couldn't get out of his feet quick enough. Mate, Rafa Marquez. Dominant clearance there, you know. All right, so we don't get a W in game number one, but it doesn't matter. Marquez still put in a stint and was still dominant in that CDM position. But now then, center back time. Let's see how he hangs. Can I have anyone who can play center mid? Euro, perfect. Big tackle. I guess you still get the playmaker aspect from the center back. You know what? He came short then on his own accord. Maybe they anticipate trying to make moves there. But Svava has the pace and speed to get back. Big touch. You know what? He's done really well there. Under pressure as well. 
Just to not get, uh, not get tackled, not get dispossessed. We end up on the counter-attack as well. Potential to get the lead here. Francescoli. Ball roll. Steve! Oh, yes! Happy days. Okay, that's big. That's big. I tell you what, one thing that's making me a little bit excited about playing centre back is just the physicals, man. Anticipating those physical stats. Like, if you just predict the right way, you're just going to body everybody. Commit. That's uh, not the most like convincing challenge, but I mean, he does the job. And then uh, a nice little RBNA pass out the back there. Oh, Steve, hold up. Hold up. Give me that. 2 0. Surely that is a rage quit. Surely. And it is. Come on. All right. As it's already half nine and I have played probably like 50 games of FC24 today, I'm going to call this one here. But Rafa Marquez. Is he better than Peter Crouch? Now, the comparison obviously isn't there because you've got a 6 for 7 lanky, hilariously fun card who's a striker or an actual usable meta-ish CDM and potentially one of the better centre-backs in the game. It's a tough one. It depends which way you want to go because Crouch genuinely is so much fun to use and actually really good. Like, scored goals with him endlessly this weekend. And I tell you what, Get him in the cup, play the cup games, see how you get on with that version first and then make your decision. But if you want a centre back or a CDM, this is your man tenfold. He feels so, so solid, so physical. You know what? It's exactly like, well, what I wanted the um, kind of, oh, not Carvalho, Carvalho, Fabio Carvalho, the Chelsea hero card to be like. Marquez is him because he's quick. He feels great on the ball. Control sprints there. we got Anticipate as well, which is beautiful with some nice defending play styles. And he's just so strong and aggressive. Like going into challenges, you're coming away with the ball. He's popping up in nice bits of space. Where would I play him? CDM or centre back? It completely depends on your team, I think. I know a lot of you guys have absolutely stacked centre backs or absolutely stacked centre mid CDM. So that's all team dependent. I probably will say personally, I'm still going to use him as a CDM purely because of the long shots, the shot power and the passing stats. I quite enjoy that aspect to the game as well as being really solid. Dead ball plus as well as a nice little uh, addition to this card. It's a W, bro. EA, by the way, are actually delivering the goods when it comes to SPCs. Like, I seem to be just praising them at the moment and I'm not used to that. It's a bit weird. So we're going to get some shocking SPCs around the corner, I'm sure. But team of the season isn't far away as well. So hopefully this continues throughout the rest of the year and we are having fun playing this game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.